Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel Learn with Fun by Zarar sir. So today we'll be discussing about behavior of capacitor in AC circuit. In the past video we have discussed about behavior of resistor and inductor in an AC circuit. Now this is behavior of capacitor in AC circuit. Let's assume my V is equal to instantaneous voltage Vm sine omega t and my instantaneous current as I. We'll start with the basic of equation of capacitor. Capacitor stored charge, so Q equal to C into V. Now, if I differentiate this with respect to T, if I differentiate with respect to T, I'll get dQ by dt is equal to C times dV by dt. Okay, C times dV by dt. Now, what will happen if if I differentiate this? dq by dt is rate of flow of charge is current so dq by dt will be i is equal to c times dv by dt where my v is vm sine omega t now i is equal to c vm sorry derivative of sine t is cos t so i'll write cos omega t into omega okay since omega is constant over here so i is equal to c omega vm cos omega t okay now i can write i is equal to vm upon i'm trying to i'm trying to make this term as a same with what we have studied during resistor and capacitor so i'll be writing i is equal to vm upon i'm using this omega c in the denominator so 1 upon omega c into cos omega t i need to make cos omega t in terms of sine so i'll be writing over here as sine omega t plus pi by 2 now as you can see i have written plus pi by 2 now both that equation i can write i is equal to vm 1 upon omega c i can write it as xc sine omega t plus pi by 2 now we got a term xc which is 1 upon omega c which is 1 upon 2 pi fc this term you have used many times if you have studied ac response of inductor or if we have used any uh, sorry capacitor in any of the ac network so xc is my capacitive reactance which is nothing but 1 upon 2 pi fc now uh, if we can correlate the equation of voltage and current now we can understand that in current current is leading the voltage by a phase difference of pi by 2 so if we try to analyze it using waveform now my waveform will be if this is my waveform of v or i would say instantaneous voltage waveform v is equal to vm sin omega t and we know the concept that uh, in the equation which we have derived current is leading the wave uh, the voltage by a phase difference of pi by 2 so how does it uh, relate will be the waveform will be getting as the current will be leading the voltage by the difference of pi by 2 so usually student get confused or the people who are into this domain get confused that when the capacitor is leading a current is leading or a inductor is leading so the best way or the shortcut to remember this is just remember this term in capacitor it's a very silly nonsense way to remember but we have to remember it in the way so capacitor we have c so just remember in capacitor the current also start with c so in capacitor current will lead the voltage by pi by 2 and vice versa inductor current will lag by a difference of pi by 2 so this is the way to remember it hope you have understand the video and the concept related to resistor conductor and capacitor in the next uh, lecture or the next part of this we will be understanding all this three rlc in series and rlc in parallel and let's see if the, it turn out it with a better uh, direction we'll be understanding it uh, rl series lc series or rc series and parallel networks okay that's it from my side thank you hope you have understand the things please like the video comment below and subscribe my channel also share it with your friends thank you